welcome to Magic Boy TV. I'm Ben Hanlon, and uh, this is our first ever video blog. So, what are we going to video blog about? Well, I've been thinking about this for a few months. I thought, what do people kind of want to see? Magic, a lot of people are interested. So, what I've decided to do, uh, when people think of magicians, they pe think of people like David Copperfield, Paul Daniels, Tommy Cooper, David Blaine, people like, don't take my word for it, no, don't. We went out on the streets, we asked people, think of a magician. Here were their answers. David Copperfield. That'll do. Right. Is that even a magician? So yeah, you get my point. Everybody kind of thinks of the same people. Now let's put this in perspective. Paul Daniels, last time he was on TV doing magic was what, 20 odd years ago? Uh, David Blaine, he first came out doing his whole street stuff 10 years ago. So, you know, the, well, the point I'm trying to make is all of that, and it's Copperfield as well, he's been in Vegas for like 15 years now. It's all fraction dated, you know. There are people out there today doing magic, putting it up on YouTube, sending it around the world, and it's modern stuff, and it's cool, and it's fun. So, I get sent all these videos all the time, check out this guy in Japan, check out this guy, check out that. Uh, so what I've decided to do, put them all together in a top 10, cool magic stuff that's there now, that's current, right? So, we're gonna start the countdown, number 10, we're gonna start with a guy called Daniel Garcia. Now, any magicians watching, you'll know who Daniel Garcia is, for those of you who aren't magicians, Daniel Garcia, quick background, he's an American guy, guy from Texas, so uh, south, southern people, I don't know, Texas, anyway. Uh, he is a genius when it comes to magic. He creates magic, he writes, his brain is amazing, and it comes up with these fantastic tricks. And if you've ever seen any of David Blaine's stuff before, you'd have seen some of Daniel Garcia's stuff before, because he gives some of his stuff to David Blaine to perform. That's how good this guy is. He helps other people come up with magic. So, in at number 10 is a trick involving elastic bands. Don't, don't switch off. It's cool, trust me, it's not naff, it's, it's fun. Check it out, it's a quick trick involving elastic band, bit of money, have a look at it, and then we'll come back. In at number 10, Daniel Garcia. Oh, I wanna try this, let's get the appearance perfect. perfect. That way you can actually, you can actually see. Watch, watch. <gasps> Just like so, you can actually see. Uh -uh. It goes right through. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's yours to keep. Oh no, that's <laughs> really, that's <laughs> it. You can actually see it. I want you to stretch that further. You got it? And the other one further. Yeah, perfect. I want you to watch. I'm gonna try this out, see if I can get this to happen. Watch. <laughs> that's mine. That's mine. Sorry, that's what do you do? Let's say God, it's got magnets inside of it. I know, puppies. I know. It's tough. It's tough. Like, ask him what he just saw. Ask this guy what he just saw. He just had a good. Oh, what just happened? Amazing. Oh, I just saw. He doing some magic trick right here in Las Vegas, like with the rubber band, made it go through the other rubber band. A dollar okay. took the solid. dollar. So that was Daniel Garcia with a rubber band. With a, with, a, with a rubber band. Made it go through the other rubber band. Uh, yeah, out on the streets in Vegas performing. Hope you liked it. Uh, swiftly moving on, we're going to go to number nine. Now, the fella in at number nine is a guy you'd have never heard of, never seen on TV. He's one of these guys that's just out there performing magic that I luckily happen to come across some of his, his videos and stuff. A guy called Rich Ferguson, again from America, I think Detroit. I'm not too sure, don't hold me to that. He's going to shoot me if I'm wrong. I've never met this guy, but he seems like a real nice guy. Uh, he's got a real cool trick. I'm not going to explain it. Just watch it. It's cool. It's fun. In at number nine, in our countdown, Rich Ferguson. Check him out. Number nine. If you would just say stop at some point. Okay, stop. Right here. Mm -hmm. If you would remember the page number. 
Okay, on the, on the side? Yeah. Yes, I got, you got it. it. Okay. Uh -huh. your, your number, don't tell anyone. <laughs> okay. We'll try a couple things here. I'm going to riffle through the pages, warm you up a little bit. I'm going to riffle okay. through the pages. If you would notice the first word on the page going by, make sure they're different. Okay. Lots of words going yes, by. Yes, lots of right? words, lots different of words, words right? lots of words, lots different of words, right? yes. Don't tell me any of the words. You remember any of them? Yes. Remember a few of them? Uh-huh. Okay, focus uh, on yes. one. You got it? Yes. Curiously. Yes! Is that your word? <laughs> okay, we're going to try this. Don't worry about it. Let's try it this way. Here, take a book. What? Here, what? take a book. No, don't worry. It's all, it's all good. Just what take mean, a book. Don't worry. <laughs> I have a license for it. It's, all, it's not a big deal. Oh, my God. Do me a favor. Open up. You have a page number you're thinking of? Uh, don't tell me the page number. Right. I'll use the page number from the first book. Okay. Yeah, okay. If you would open that book to that page. Okay. Don't tell me. Don't show me. Okay. If you would don't let me see. Hold it up high. Okay, sorry. If you would, go to the top line. Uh -huh. If you would think of a large word in that line and shut okay, the book. Okay, got it. Close the book. You got it? Yes. Oh, boy. This is going to be tough. If I could tell you the location of that word in a dictionary, this would be phenomenal. Unbelievable. Yeah. I'll take, it, I'll take it one step further just for you since you were treating me like a non-believer. I went ahead and uh, took the liberty of Can writing I find my the word? location of that word on your arm. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. You are kidding me. So page 148. No, like wait, when did you do entry. that? What is it? 148, seventh entry? It, the word is immediately, so I will lose it if you get, oh my gosh. Wait, seven words, where's seven? You can't even talk straight right now, that's horrible. Oh sorry. my gosh! One, two, well, immediately. Four, five, six, seven. Then no way! <laughs> that is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> you are kidding me. That was Rich Ferguson at number nine. How awesome was that? The, on the arm with the right, brilliant. Uh, so yeah. So anyway, that is it. That's the end of today's blog. Uh, so next week we're going to come back. We're going to run through number eight, number seven, some cool, some different things. Uh, if in the meantime, if you are a magician, if you think one of your videos deserves to be in this top ten of cool things out there on the net at the moment, write a comment, send me a link, I'll have a look at it, and we'll change it around and we'll put it in the top ten if it's worthy. If not, if you know any friends that, that you, you know, think that should be in it, send me their links, I'll speak to them. If you just like this video and you think it's cool, you can do a couple things. Comment below, that'd be wicked. Up top, you can follow, follow me, subscribe, that'd be awesome. Also, Twitter, Facebook, tweet it, put it out there. Let's get some followers, that'd be cool. Great. So anyway, that's is Ben Hanley from Magic Boy TV. Episode one, done. Catch you later.